so I successfully installed the scam uh, uh, on the 3DS and um, it now run uh, the the DOS box games uh, very well so this is my my library I have uh, five games uh, like Monkey Island uh, uh, Indiana Jones and Beneath the Sky so what I had to do in order to get here was uh, quite uh, some work because uh, RetroArch uh, continued to uh, let me down so um, the first error was uh, to delete the the Java course that comes uh, uh, pre-installed uh, with um, Libretro, not pre-installed but it in does install right away after you uh, first launch uh, RetroArch uh, why I deleted the this this core and is because I I'm RetroArch uh, is about 600 uh, megabytes and after you realize that you only need uh, um, five or six uh, cores depending on your uh, needs and the best one like uh, for the Mega Drive uh, and Genesis and Game Gear I only use uh, Pico Drive and on all the other cores are redundant and I don't really need them uh, same thing for the NES I just use QuickNAS all the other cores uh, I can simply delete them and when you um, delete all the cores from uh, RetroArch uh, um, assets and so on uh, you end up with a fairly smaller size and RetroArch ScamVM um, Libretro is about 70 megabytes but it gives an error so um, after uh, reset uh, the system and reinstall uh, again uh, RetroArch because you need to uh, delete all the assets otherwise it will not work and this time I try to install ScamVM standalone and this time it worked so zero problem uh, so here is ScamVM and we have this beautiful virgin uh, galactic intro for Beneath the Steel Sky and I'm, I'm very happy about it because uh, this was uh, um, frankly the one of the most fun uh, emulation uh, that I really uh, was going to miss between my um, DS uh, XL and the new 3DS still um, many emulation like the Game Boy Advance especially the Game Boy Advance uh, they run uh, a hundred times better on the um, DS uh, the old uh, DS XL uh, that's not um, um, that was built with the Game Boy Advance slot in the first place so it really could uh, run all those uh, Game Boy 
advanced uh, games and if you have uh, even older uh, uh, DS uh, with uh, like the original one as I have right here you see this is the original Game Boy and uh, with this card here uh, you can run all uh, GBA titles uh, in their uh, uh, not emulated but uh, truly on, on their form. So this uh, on the old uh, DS, uh, the Game Boy Advance games uh, run really like uh, they they are on they were on the Game Boy Advance. And same things goes uh, with the uh, DSXL. So you see the, the di dimension are, are not uh, are almost the same. It's a little bit bigger the DSXL uh, actually from the 3DS. It's still a, a tiny bit bigger, but not the the top screen, the top screen is uh, is larger on the 3DS XL actually the bottom screen uh, it looks like uh, it's about uh, a tiny bit larger on the 3D on the DS XL so it's a really tight uh, contest because uh, some games run better on the DS XL and uh, some emulation uh, like especially the Game Boy Advance uh, and the NES but also the device uh, C64 uh, emulation has really oh, the Stella, the Atari, uh, the Coleco they all have a really pitiful uh, audio so you need to uh, run a silent because of the audio is so pitiful and the DSXL does not have these problems for most of the part and when you go uh, on the newer uh, uh, more uh, 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 advanced system like the N64 then uh, the 3DS uh, then it's the old 3DS uh, runs uh, a little better than the XL and I'm fairly happy that at least I could run uh, Scam VM for, uh, because DOSBox uh, wasn't working so the only option, the only other option was uh, Scam VM and I'm happy to say that Scam VM finally is, is here and uh, I can play uh, my most beloved games okay so um, remember these uh, these things here you can make the retro arch uh, fairly small so you'll save a, a lot of uh, space and if you run into trouble uh, just um, um, delete the uh, the title on the FBI titles, uh, uh, delete titles, and everything, and only then um, pop up the, the SD card and delete all the content. Then uh, um, refresh the SD card with a new uh, CIA of uh, RetroArch and reinstall RetroArch then pop out the card again and uh, um, repopulate the, the RetroArch folder session with the new small folder this time you don't need all the, the cores you just need the, the smaller uh, section of the course uh, with your uh, systems and downloads uh, with uh, the other games that you have uh, and th that's it uh, just 
remember uh, this this error where like uh, arm uh, 15 or 16 error exception and was basically a kernel panic for uh, for the system so you really need to get rid of the corrupted uh, retro arch file and once you got the emulators up and running uh, um, you don't need to go uh, into RetroArch uh, to modify settings every time that just sits there and you can just go on with the with the other emulators that you don't have to uh, reinstall each time you reinstall RetroArch you just it will repopulate uh, the configuration uh, re-update the configuration files by itself uh, uh, the first time you will open uh, uh, libretro emulation uh, uh, file like quickness uh, or uh, gear system pico drive uh, and so on and so on so remember um, you, you if you run into trouble, uh, this is the uh, the way to go, um, for, for, um, because you know uh, you need to try out uh, what, what does work best for you in in that moment. Maybe uh, there is an update uh, and the newer model as an update for uh, I don't know quickness uh, or. Uh, uh, Gambate for the game boy color that runs faster than the other so you need to try what does uh, work best for you and once uh, you got your things up and running uh, that's where you wanna stick with okay so um, thanks for watching uh, watch also my other videos for the 3ds uh, with my testing for all the other emulators and this was really the, the instruction on uh, on how to uh, install finally scam vm that was uh, the most uh, critical uh, with dosbox to to install for me it was always uh, going into errors and uh, finally it's it's working so cheers have, a, have fun and uh, buy your games <laughs> I have uh, all these games uh, at least once in a lifetime bought uh, or myself uh, or for Amiga or for PC um, so um, buy your games uh, when when you really like them okay cheers